Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, welcome to my channel. Today I am back with a beauty haul. It's a mix of everything. I've got a massive bag here that I've just popped it all in. It was actually something from Victoria's Secrets as well, but yeah, I've just got a whole bunch of stuff in here from like perfume to makeup to skincare. I'm just gonna get started with one of my favourite things in this bag and it is the new perfume range from Primark. Anyone who's watched my videos before will know that I am a huge Jo Malone fan, but Jo Malone is also quite expensive. So I tend to get it for birthdays or Christmas or anniversaries, things like that. But Primark have just released a new perfume range and one of the perfumes in it is pomegranate and black tea. Now my favorite Jo Malone perfume is pomegranate noir and this smells extremely similar to it. You can tell the difference between which one I've got on, but it is such a good dupe of it. The 100ml bottle is £8, whereas 100ml of Jo Malone is £88. So I'd highly recommend going and giving it a sniff. They come in a box like this, and the perfume just looks like this. So it is incredibly similar to the Jo Malone ones. But yeah, this is a 100ml bottle and it's the pomegranate and black tea one. The bottle is quite plain, it's just literally got the logo on. But for £8, you can't go wrong. I mean, it means I can now wear this on a daily basis. And because I probably only have about this much left of my Jo Malone one, I can wear my Jo Malone one. For special occasions until I manage to get another bottle of it but yeah would highly recommend going and giving it a sniff also in the range they have released 20 ml bottles which come in a box like this they're three pound and this is the amber noir one which looks like this so these are the more intense ones just like Jo Malone they come in the black tubes and they are actually spray bottles because a lot of these tend to be rollables but they are actually spray bottles this one is quite a musky scent again i'd go and give it a sniff though they're definitely all worth going and giving a sniff i also got the 20 ml pomegranate and black tea one this one can i can pop in my handbag or whatever and the vanilla absolute one now i'm not sure which jo malone one this is supposed to smell like but vanilla is one of my favorite scents so yeah i got that one as well also in the range there is a lime and mandarin one which i wasn't a big fan of but i like jo malone's lime basil and mandarin so i think it's something to do with the basil that kind of counteracts them but there's a lime and mandarin one a rose one which i wasn't a big fan of either and a jasmine and honey i think it is but again wasn't a really big fan of that one as i mentioned they also are doing hand creams to match and my sister actually picked up the set of three which is four pound but she wasn't too keen on the vanilla scent so she just gave me the vanilla one i think in the set you get the vanilla one the amber one and the pomegranate one i'm not quite sure but i think they're doing different sets as well so yeah these are the hand creams these are 30 ml so £4 for 30ml hand creams is amazing and they do smell identical. Final thing from the range, I did want a reed diffuser in the pomegranate scent but they didn't have any so I am on the lookout for that but they had all the other ones as well. But they have released the hand wash as well. This is a vitamin E hand wash and I picked up the pomegranate and black tea one. And I was talking to my sister about this and I was like, surely you could use this as body wash because it is just a soap. So I don't know, I don't know whether to try it or not or just pop it in my bathroom. But yeah, they did all the scents in these as well. Moving on to a couple of skincare bits. L'Oreal have obviously released a whole range of masks that are purifying, detoxing and glow and they come in quite big jars and I have tried the detox one before wasn't a fan of it 
I've tried the Origins one as well, wasn't a big fan of that, so I think it's just something to do with like the black charcoal masks I don't like. They tend to break me out as well. But L'Oreal have brought out these, which are like little pods of the masks. And I think they're on offer at the minute for something like £3.50, something like that. So it's like £1 something a mask. But I have the purifying one and the glow one, and my sister took the detox one because I'm not a big fan of it. But yeah, I'm quite excited to try these ones. I do like masks that came to give you a bit of a glow. Sticking on the mask front, Soap and Glory have brought out a whole new range of masks. They've brought out eye masks, like the under eye masks. They've also brought out sheet masks. And this is the Pore Refining Mask. I haven't tried this one yet. I'm quite looking forward to trying it. My sister's tried it and she said it is good. And I do love a good sheet mask. And it does feel quite, like it feels like it's got a lot of product in it. If you like squish it, you can feel it. And the other one that I picked up, I think they were buy one get one half price at the minute. I'm not sure if that offer's still on. But this one is What Appealing, the Declog Mask. And you get two little pods like this. I currently have one on the go, so I've like sealed it over. But you get a free little scoop with it, but I found that it's much easier just to use. I use an old foundation brush, but this mask is bright pink. It's literally like the colour of that like sticker there. And it is probably one of the best peeling masks I've ever used. You can really feel it like declogging. You can feel it pulling out the crap from your face basically. So yeah, most people say like these pods are like one use, but I've used it three times now and I've still probably got about one or two uses left in it. I put like quite an even layer on, not too thick though, because it takes forever to dry if it does. And I feel like it doesn't work as well. But you leave it on for about 20-25 minutes and you can feel it tightening and it's just so satisfying to peel off. So if you like a good peeler mask I'd highly recommend going and checking those out. The next couple of bits are again some skincare bits. I just picked up the simple micellar water. I'd run out, this one was on offer, I've never tried it. Um, It's alright, it's not my favourite. My favourite is the Garnier oil one where you shake it but it's like six pound a bottle something like that and this one was on offer for like two pound and it's a 400 ml one so i will use it but it's not my favorite i probably won't repurchase it when it's finished the next thing is something new from the superdrug natural radiance range this is the glyconic five percent glycolic acid toner a lot of people have been comparing this to the Pixie Glow Tonic, but if you read, I think Caroline Hyman's has done a blog post on it, I'm pretty sure. The only ingredient in this that is the same as Pixie Glow Tonic is the glyconic acid in it. But it's got glycolic acid, kiwi fruit extract and mulberry fruit extract and it smells amazing. And I'm really enjoying using it. I think it was about £2.99 something like that on introductory offer I'm not sure how much it's gonna be but I've been using it for about a week week and a half and I've hardly used any of it I just pop it on a cotton wool pad swipe it over my face and I found it's really helping my chin I had like a bit of a breakout situation on my chin don't know what it was I'm guessing it's just hormones tends to be when it is on your chin but yeah, I found it's really helping and it's really helped clear it up quickly. Moving on to something from Victoria's Secrets. Me and my sister popped to Blue Water when she was here. And I went off Victoria's Secrets for a long time. They obviously used to do the sprays, shower gels, body lotions and stuff like that. I think they used to be something like three for 20, 25 pounds, something like that. I can't remember what it was, but I had so many of them that it just got to the point where I kind of got bored of it. But they have like completely rebranded 
and brought out loads of new collections. My sister picked up a new makeup bag which said something about a girl can never have too many perfumes, something like that. And they've just completely rebranded and they've brought out these new body sprays. Fragrance Mist is what it's called and just look at the packaging. Very again Gucci-esque kind of packaging. And this is the dark floral mist. On the back it just says sexy warm woods, a touch of cozy garment, sexy with an edge. And it's just, it's like a really musky, wintry, autumny scent. And I think these were two for 20 pound. I think they're 16 pound each or two for 20. I might be wrong, it might be two for 25. I can't quite, I think it was two for 20 though because my sister got one as well. But I think there's four in the collection, but they only do the spray and the body lotion. I wish they did the shower gel because I would definitely be buying the matching shower gel. But yeah, I'd highly recommend popping into Victoria's Secret and checking out all their new ranges. They've got loads of new makeup bags in as well. As I said, my sister picked one up, but they've got loads where it's a travel bag and then inside there's three separate bags in it as well. I think they're about £40. 35 40 pound but for four makeup bags that's in like 10 pound each so if you travel a lot or anything like that i'd definitely recommend popping in and having a look moving on to makeup and bits like that the first thing is the Too faced love passionately pretty eyeshadow collection now this is from tk maxx and i looked at it about three four times but it was still something like £30, I think it was 29 99 and obviously to buy new I think it's about 40 so it wasn't that much of a discount but my sister managed to find it in hers for £15 and I mean just look at the packaging, it's just beautiful. Inside it just looks like this so you get the three different sections and then in the lid there's actually some like cards where it shows you looks you can create but it's just beautiful I have used it and this colour here is just amazing all over the lid with just a matte colour blended through the crease I think this is the only problem with this palette there isn't really a matte the closest to a matte is this one here but it's still got like a bit of a sheen to it but it is beautiful I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this I really want to create the green look I think that will be beautiful for autumn it does come with an eyeliner I'm not a big eyeliner fan it just I don't know I don't think it looks right on me I wish it came with a brush instead but beggars can't be choosers so yeah if you can find it in your TK Maxx, pick it up if you're a big Too Faced fan. It is a beautiful palette and the pigment is amazing. Keeping with the eyeshadow theme, I picked up a Spectrum B06 brush. Spectrum have just launched in Boots. I think there's about six brushes and a brush set that they've launched. But this is from the unicorn collection I think it is and it's the tapered blending brush spectrum are vegan and it just says on it use with shadows and pigments and they come in these like little sleeves but obviously I took mine out because I have used it it is super soft and I've just been using it to blend my crease colour or once I finish the look, blend colour into the outer corner just to deepen it up. But yeah, I think this is about four ninety nine, which is not bad for a single brush. Obviously, these are the Weaver sell single brushes and stuff like that. And for how soft it is, it's just amazing. So yeah, I definitely want to look at getting more of these. I think I might possibly ask for a set for my birthday or Christmas. Moving on to more makeup related things. I've just popped everything in this makeup bag which I'm not sure if it's still going. If it is I'll try and find a link or something but MAC, Essay Lauder and Smashbox I think that's where you can buy them from. We're doing like 
beauty bags instead of like a beauty box it was a beauty bag and I think it was £20 and you got like a full size MAC mascara I have got some of the products in here my sister did purchase it and then we kind of split it she got all skincare I got all the makeup but yeah as I go through it I'll show you what was in that bag but for £20 I think the bag was worth something like close to £100 so definitely worth looking into if it's still going and the bag is quite pretty as well I just popped all of my new products in here so I can like try them out first thing is the MUA translucent setting powder this is just a completely white powder I did have the Makeup Forever loose version of this and wasn't a big fan of it I liked the powder but I didn't like the fact it was loose so I thought I'd pick this up and see if it did the same thing and I'm really enjoying it at the minute it is just completely white I like setting my under eyes with it and then completing my makeup with it but yeah it's helping make my makeup stay on all day so that is good next thing is the makeup forever smoky lash mascara again this is a TK Maxx purchase it was 7 99 which for a Makeup Forever mascara I think these retail for close to 20 and Smoky Lash is one of my favourites I like it for when I do a smoky eye because it just it adds that extra something to a smoky eye in your lashes it's just got it's got quite a short brush but I think it's bristled yeah it's just got bristle brushes on it and I'm really enjoying it. I have tried this before so it's not something new to me. A couple of skincare products that are in here. This is the Ovigen's Drink Up Intense Overnight Mask. This was one of the products that came in the bag. My sister purchased hers from the MAC website. But yeah, this came in it. I've got a couple of these dotted around. I use this as a night cream and find that it makes my skin just feel super soft in the morning and ready for makeup. Another thing is the Clinique Take The Day Off Makeup Remover. I have loved this for, oh, I'd say a good two, three, four years, something like that. And I've always just had the mini, but I think Clinique had a gift with purchase that my sister wanted though so she kindly picked me up this and I think she picked up an eye stick something like that but yeah I love this I love the balm I use this to take off my eye makeup and then the balm to take off my face makeup but would highly recommend either getting a sample or giving it a go if you want something that gets your eye makeup off super quickly another eye palette is the collection eyes uncovered matte nude rose palette I first seen this on Fleur de Force's channel as she, I think she's like a collection ambassador or something. She's working with collection all this year. And this is one of the matte palettes. I like using this with that Too Faced palette because obviously this is all matte, that's got no matte in. But you can create a really nice look just with these matte shadows. I tend to put this one all over the lid and then this one here in the crease and this one here kind of in the outer V just to deepen it up a bit but I think this was 2 dollars when I picked it up but I think they're normally 3 dollars but 3 dollars for a palette with six colours in it is a bargain and they are really pigmented as well something that was in the Clinique free gift is plum pop with this it's the jonathan adler collection mine's a bit smushed on the top i've just realized that it must have been turned up and i've put the lid on it but this is just a kind of pinky rosy nude color i have worn it a couple of times i think it'll be great for autumn with quite a smoky autumn eye look. The next few things are some blushes from the Makeup Obsession range at Boots. These were reduced down to 150. I don't know if they're discontinuing them or if they're just getting rid of some of the shades to release new shades 
but I have the shade Bloom which is just this it's like a pinky red colour it is coming up quite true to colour on the screen but yeah again perfect for autumn the next one is in the shade Fancy which is more of a peachy colour I haven't worn this one yet but I think it'll be good to either put away for spring summer next year or just if I fancy a peachy cheek look and the final one is in the shade Perfect and this is my favourite one the star is starting to wear off where I've worn it quite a lot it's just the perfect nudie it's like a nudie terracotta -y colour again perfect for autumn how many times am I going to say that in this video there's a few bits left in the bottom of here one of them is the Clinique chubby stick again this came in I think this either came in the Mac bag or the Clinique free gift I can't remember what it is and it's just the sculpt and highlight I have worn it a couple of times I'm not a big highlight person I think I just don't think it suits my face basically but I find if you just like rub your finger on the top of it and warm it up a bit and just tap it on your cheeks I've worn it in my inner corner as well and it looks quite nice in there a Clinique high impact mascara this came in the Clinique free gift I really like this mascara I've never actually had a full size one always just had a mini but yeah it's just got a bristle brush it's good I don't think I'd ever purchase it full size but I do like it in the mini there's a few of it I picked up the Velvet Kiss Blackberry lip cream which will be perfect for autumn because of the colour it looks quite scary in the tube it looks like pure purple but it's not it dries down to quite a ready like deep red colour so I'm looking forward to wearing that a photo finish foundation primer from Smashbox this is the silicone one I really enjoy this again I don't think I've ever had a full size of this I think I've always had sample sizes but it is a really good one this came in the MAC Smashbox wherever you bought it from bag obviously MAC Smashbox Estee Lauder are all owned they all fall under the same umbrella so that's why there was you could buy it on different websites another thing that came in that bag was the Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Shadow Stick this is in golden pink I have a couple of weddings next year one in which I'm doing the makeup for the bride four bridesmaids I think it is and two mother of the brides and I think this is gonna look amazing either on the mother of the bride and the mother of the groom or the bridesmaids because she's requested kind of pinky gold tones a backup that I picked up is the Too Faced Hangover X Primer my sister got me one of these I want to say in July and mine is already running out so she very kindly picked me up with backup these are £12 from Selfridges you can buy them online or in store but I am obsessed with this primer it's my new favourite it just leaves your skin feeling super soft just makes your makeup stay on all day I might potentially buy a full size with any birthday money that I get but we actually worked out that it is £27 for a full size one and the full size one is 40ml these are 20ml so you could actually buy two mini ones and get the same amount of product and it'd be cheaper a MAC Extra MAC Extra Dimension 3D Black Lash Mascara because my sister bought the bag from the MAC website you got a free mascara which matches the full size mascara that you got in the bag these full size mascaras are £16.50 but the bag was £20 so this is the 3D lash one it's got a plastic brush I've never tried it before 
I'm looking forward to trying it. I've never really had a Mac mascara, so yeah, looking forward to giving that a go. I quite like the packaging as well. It's very simple and then it's just got Mac like wrote on it. And the final thing, the things I've been filming for I think about half an hour now. Obviously it won't be this long, I will cut it down. But the final product is one of the new Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Lips Liquid Matte Lipsticks. And I have mine in Charlotte Darling. If any company, designer, anything like that, bring out anything with the name Charlotte on, I have to have it in my collection because my name is Charlotte and I think it's made for me. I have this one, I have Nazi Charlotte and Mark Jacobs Charlotte. The Mark Jacobs one was released when the Royals had their daughter called Charlotte and the Nars one is one of, I think it's the Nars Audacious Lipsticks which are all named after women and I have the one in Charlotte. But Charlotte Darling is just a, it's like in, it's this one here, it's just the perfect nude. I find it quite hard to find a nude that suits me. I do have nude cake from Charlotte Tilbury but I think it's just that a little bit too light. But this is more of like a, it's like an orangey terracotta nude is the only way I can describe it. I wore it out for dinner the other week and I ate chicken wings and drank three, four drinks and it stayed on all night. The lasting power of these is quite good. I've heard fairly mixed reviews about them but I'm a big fan and will definitely be adding a few more to my collection. That is everything in my Mammoth Beauty Haul. I now need to put all this away and find homes for it. I think I might declutter a bit of my collection first to add these new products in. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching.